So I want to see how to work with logic operators. They let me check more than one condition. Um, if I'm talking about numbers, I'm often talking about separate ranges of numbers. Um, so if I want to check if something is between two values, I can look at my number line here. If you think back to like when you were a little kid and you used this, let's say I want to um, go from uh, 5 to 15, um, not including either one of them. So I want to draw this. Let's make this a little bigger. From 5 to 15, um, non inclusive on my number line. Well, that means in code, I'm going to check if something is between 5 and 15. I have to do that as two separate comparisons because there's no um, writing of equalities like you can in math in C. So I've got an integer called x here. I'm asking the user for their input. And if I want to check if it's between 5 and 15, it would look something like this. So I'm going to say if x is greater than 5, and x is less than 15, I'm going to say it's uh, in range. Okay. Otherwise, I'll say it's out of range. So again, I am checking that the number is between 5 and 15, not including those two numbers. So if I were to run this, um, and I input a number like 10, to tell me it's in range. If I run this and I input some number that's out of range, so for example, five, which it shouldn't include, it'll tell me it's out of range. Now, if I wanted to write this as if it were a, an inclusive range, like uh, if I were drawing this on a number line, it would look like this with my, so, oops, hold on one second. It would look like this with my circles filled in so that I want to include these two numbers. this, then I can quickly adjust that by simply adding an equal sign to this. Now it includes 5 and it includes 15, so let's verify that. If I run this thing and I type in 15, it should still tell me it's in range. Yes. Okay. So that is what AND does. It checks that two things are true. So when it's looking at these conditions, if this first condition and the second condition are both true, then it comes out true. If either one of them is false, the whole thing comes out false. And if both of them are false, the whole thing comes out false. If I wanted to, instead of checking a continuous range like that, if I wanted to check two um, variations, so let me say, I want to make sure that I'm either over here on the number line, like this, this way, I don't know if I can see that, maybe it's thicker. If I want to see if I'm over here, or I am over here, like this, and you'll notice now I have a gap in the middle of my number line. So I can't use AND, because AND would um, sort of be inclusive. And instead, I need to change this to an OR. So I'm going to include 5 and any number less than it. So let me go and adjust this. So I'm going to say any number less than or equal to 5. And then my gap tells me that I need an OR. Okay, and my OR is going to be any number bigger than 15, but not including 15. Oops. So let's say this is greater than 15. Okay, so let's try this. Let's type in a 3 in range. Let's type in a 20 in range. Okay. Let's type in a 10, which is in between the two in that gap area. And now it's out of range. So if I have an or, if either of these two things is true, or if both of them are true, which in this particular example is impossible, then the entire thing comes out true. If both of them are false, then it results in a false. Okay. And then there's just one more little logical operator which is kind of funny. Um, let me just make this check one particular thing. And it's a not. So what I can do is I can take any Boolean expression and I can put a not in front of it. And what that means is take the opposite. So without this not, I'm looking for numbers greater than five. With the not, I'm looking for the opposite. So let's see how that comes out. Okay, so if I type 10, which is a number greater than five, I get out of range. Actually, let me change the wording of this. Say this is B A. Okay, 
So let me type this again. If I type in 10, I get B because while 10 is greater than 5, that's true. I flip it when I get to this not, and so this doesn't turn out to be true, so I go to B. Okay. If I enter a number like 3, I get A. If I enter 5, I get A. Okay. Writing this with a not is exactly equivalent to writing the opposite of this condition, which would look like this. X is less than or equal to 5. So a not basically takes a true or a false condition and it flips it so it's the opposite one. And those are logical operators.